Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to perform a new update on a document using find, using model.find1 and update. Recent versions of uh, Mongoose have methods to simplify documents updating, document updating. Uh, some more advanced features, pre, post, hooks, validation, behave differently with this approach, so the classic method is still useful in many situations. Find by ID and update. Uh, can be used when searching by ID. So we want to find a person by their name and set the person's age to 20. Use this function parameter, use the function parameter person name as the search key. You should return the updated document to do that to do uh, that you need to pass to do that you need to pass the options document new is equal to true. Um, at the, as a third argument to find one and update. Okay, so the third argument to find one and update, we want to pass in an object with a key value pair, with a single key value pair of new and true in there. By default, these methods return an unmodified object. Okay, so let's go over here. Um, yeah, find one and update. Find and update. So here, okay, we want to use... I guess, yeah, I'm thinking we're still going to have our person... Well, we'll do this underneath the age to set. So we could go person dot find uh, by. No, we want to not find many situations can be used when searching for ID. Find one and update. Find one and update. And so if I look over here, um, I've got the API documentation up. So if I come over here to the API documentation, press Command F, and then go find one and update. Um, we can do this one. Find one and update. Okay, so it takes an object. Um, I always like to look at the examples, conditions. Okay, so the query. Here they save the query as the name of born, and then their options are here. Um, query name Jason born. Here they've got all four, and this, and they say that it executes. We return the callback. This will be our error and our data. This will be the options thing. This will be the object that holds the name. Oh, here, yeah, this is their update. So they're passing it in as an object. And the query they're passing in as an object. So those match, so that's helpful. So yeah, let's go back over here. Um, age to set is equal to 20. Let's go age to set is equal to um, age is equal to 20. So this is an object. And then we'll say we want our name to be equal to person name. And then, well, yeah, let's just make our update directly in here. We don't think we need to our name is equal to person name. And then our next one is this guy, right? Because we've got our condition, and then we want update and our callback, our options and our callback. And so um, the options are here. So our third element is options, because our third element is options. And then we make our callback uh, to keep our uh, not mongoose running, right? <clears throat> and so our callback is going to be function. And we're just going to make it in here. And this will be the, uh, we're going to have an error and we'll have a found person. And then, so then we'll have our done function passed in up here. And then this will be equal to our found person. And then, uh, you know, we want to go if our normal thing, error. Uh-oh. Find an update. Find one and update. Function if error found person. No. No. Well, that's cool. We didn't lose anything. So except for a little bit. If error, then we want to return a console.log of the error. And now this should work. Oh, age to set is a. It's not non-function thing. 
we changed that to here, so we want to update the age to 20 in here. Um, so yeah, I think we could run this and this would probably work. Okay, let's stop it and then let's run it. Um, cool, uh, our app's listening, so let's copy it here, come over here and paste it in here. Say I've completed the challenge. Nice, okay, so we've got the right answer, but this looks disgusting, right? So we could make it, uh, we could call this, um, we can let our query object, no, just query. We could set that equal to this guy. So then we, instead of doing it there, we just call uh, query here. And then our, let our update be equal to this object. So instead of that, we can just call this update. And then we can let our options be equal to this guy, options. And then, yeah, our code's a little bit cleaner, right? Query, update, options, you can see query, update, options. And then our function, we could uh, minimize this down to ES6 to make it a little bit more legible. Um, and maybe if we dragged out our window just a little bit more. Okay, cool, now we're all in one line. And um, yeah, we can make this individual which would give us a little bit less space. I don't even know if that helped. But we were able to keep this function on one, on almost one line, which was kind of cool. Uh, it doesn't need to be options. We only have one option there. So that'll get us on to the single thing. Okay, well, um, and then yeah, here we could just make this a ES6 function as well. Um, so if we stopped the server and reran it, this to me looks a little bit cleaner than what we had initially. Uh, I th I'm pretty confident that it's the exact same thing. You can see our code's executing because the server is running. And then if I flip over here and resubmit, uh, it still works. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.